Hello everybody and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. I have some new in items that I want to show you for this month. Um, it's just a few items, nothing um, over the top so I won't keep you long. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I guess sharing is a part of it too, so share. Um, help this grandma get her numbers up. household so for these um, new in items I'm gonna show you a little bit of everything so this will be another one of those so the first thing is the teacup it has a spoon that goes with it and what I like about the spoon is you can hold the tea bag down while it um, gets all you know it get all the flavor I got this from Amazon and look at all the beautiful details. It's roses along the trim um, and butterflies. You should already know. Isn't this pretty? And it's heavy. It's not a thin, thin glass either. Um, and to hold this, cause this is heavy. This is not, this doesn't feel like plastic. Um, and it has a rose on the spoon as well. So really nice. Amazon. And the tea that I use, since we're talking about tea, um, is this, let me get back a little bit because that light is bright. This is the lavender, Shem, is it chamomile? Chamomile. Really? Lavender chamomile herbal tea, and it's the one with the probiotics in it. So, help you out. Try this, it is really good. It's um, honey, it's caffeine free, and what I like to do is put extra honey in it, and I like the raw honey, so I put that in it as well, and a little bit of cinnamon. So good. Okay, so keeping with the household items, I got me some salad bowls. I know that's probably like not interesting to some people, but I like having a bowl specifically for salad. So you won't have to use those. You know how you, we used to order out and we used to always have them containers that they would give you. Um, I said I didn't want those, I want actual salad bowls but i didn't want to pay a lot of money for it if i when i'm not gonna say if i ever move when i move i want some salad the glass salad bowls those i really like but these i got from amazon it's a set of four it reminds me of spring so i got yellow and they are not microwavable they are true salad bowls salad is not hot Cold. The last household item is this beautiful uh, crystal um, ice bucket that I got from a place that sells a lot of antique and old stuff. That's all I can say. Um, and it is heavy. And this I'm going to put on my bar. I'm going to put it on the little bar I have here in this little uh, townhouse. But when I get my house, I want a cart bar. Um, I don't need no fancy bar. I don't drink like that. But I love the way bottles look. I, I like the way people um, use the bar carts and make them all pretty. And they don't take up a lot of space. And I want to have crystal on it. And I want to get new because it, it's too expensive. Let's go to the earrings. So the first pair I have is these butterfly earrings that I got from Target. Good old Target. I hope you can see them. And the next pair, so this um, has that, I like it because it looks like animal print a little, but all in gold and it has 
um, little, cute little um, diamonds as the to as the uh, earpiece to go, and it comes down. So I like those. And next, I paid a little more for this. Look at this necklace. The details of um, cheetah, the details of the cheetah and how it's got the pretty pink in the ears and then it goes down and the detail of the chain, can you see it? And then the thickness of the chain as well. And then the clasp has the little detail on it also. Um, this was a little pricey, but this is one of those pieces that you had like a long time. And in the summer, can you imagine having something low cut on in the summer and having that dangle down? Beautiful. This one. And of course, you know on YouTube, they'll take your video down if you say where you got things from or try to promote it. So all I can say is look on Instagram. You probably already didn't seen it. So for this one, I wanted the Louis Vuitton hoops. But I didn't want them big and I didn't want to pay a lot for them. So there was a, a person, a, a, well, a business selling them, but they are little hoops. So you know they are not real. But look at this. Wait, I want to make sure that I show you. I should have put them on. Okay. So let me see if I can show you without, without the light. So they are the hoops, but you see how small they are. So it's the look of it, but not, you know it's not them because Louis Vuitton don't sell little versions of the hoops. But I thought this was so cute and it's heavy and this is not no cheap bending nothing. And it, it is so cute. Instagram. And comes in this little pouch and I am going to wear them. The next thing is, you know I'm always getting a pair of shades from Amazon. Look at these Gucci inspired shades. Yes, honey. And you know my price, $14.99, $15. No more than that. Aren't they cute? Yes. Works just as good. So those are the shades. And let's, I have, oh wait, I have one more piece of jewelry. And actually, I am going to open this with you and put it on so you can oh i might can't this is up there they ain't play no games so this is how it looks it is a um crown queen because i am a queen and this is how it would look can you see it isn't it nice? And it's rose gold, and I got it to go with my um, my Apple Watch because my Apple Watch is rose gold. As far as the accessories and the bands, I have to go with it. It's rose gold, and then the watch itself is rose gold because I don't like the sporty look. So I got some. So I will definitely show you more of this ring with that watch 
on one of my up, upcoming videos. So the next thing is perfume. So I, I blind purchase the Hermes Twilly Parfum. Now it's different ones. You have to look at the notes when you blind buying. So the best thing to do is find out what perfume you like, know the notes that you like, and then always know that you don't, those notes is what you're looking for in a perfume. So I got this one. And I know some people say that it is, uh, it smells like an old lady, first of all. What old lady? Because is there an old lady age? Are you saying the perfume is too strong? You know, because I'm an old lady. So I'm trying to figure out what old lady smell are you talking about. But anyway, so it's got the, this is the limited edition one with the Twilly. And you can remove these Twillies. Let me. So the Twilly has the little heart and you can remove the Twilly, wrap the Twilly around. If you want to wrap it around your wrist, if you can put it around your wrist, if you want to put it on a bag, it's just a little miniature Twilly. And I, of course, am going to leave it. Um, I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to put here the notes. This smells so good, but perfume is personal. So you have to make sure that for your body chemistry, that your perfume is for you. So no one can tell you, I can just tell you that it does this one with the notes that I put here does not smell like something very overpowering and, and stale. And you know, back in the day when people used to wear sh very strong perfume, that does not smell like that. So know your notes and you'll know which perfume you like. So, so you can layer your Twilly uh, with a cream, a body cream that has the same notes in it and it will last longer because the perfume will stick to your skin. So let me give you an example. And yes, this smells very good. You do not have to spend a lot on perfume and it smells. Perfume, perfume and then it's um, Eau Toilette. That's a lighter version of the perfume, but Target has a perfume by Mix Bar, and this is what it looks like. And it is the Wood Elixir Eau de Perfume. And this is the bottle. Barely costs anything smells wonderful do you hear me smells wonderful so how I layer it is I take the Bath and Body Works a thousand wishes and I put that on first and then I put this on top unlike everyone else I don't spray my perfume like this all over myself. I rub my body cream on my arms and then I spray my perfume on top of that. That is the only place I put it. And you, so you do not have to spray it everywhere. This way it will mix and the notes in it i'm gonna put the notes for the um wood elixir from target and the notes from 
a thousand wishes and you will see that they will have notes in common and it smells. It smells so good. And you know, summer and spring and summer, you show more skin. So that way you smell. I ain't messing with y'all today. I am not messing with y'all today. Either you get it or you don't. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. Cause I'm not gonna keep you. So I'm gonna put my, uh, my new perfumes on my tray if you watch my uh linen closet ikea hack uh video you will see the tray that i keep my perfumes on okay so let's move on to clothes so i have two items that i want to show you the first one is this h m dress it is a jean dress and I'm gonna put it here so you can see um, it's still in, uh, uh, hopefully it's still in H&M by the time you see this video. Maybe, may not be. Um, this will take me into spring, then bring back fall. Now you may be in some places where it's still cool at night and you may be able to take it into early summer but I live in Florida, so pretty soon it ain't gonna be no cool nothing. It's just gonna be hot. But you don't buy your clothes. See, the thing with making sure you don't buy too many trends or trendy items is if you into trendy items and then it's not trendy anymore and then you don't wanna wear it, then you wasted your money. But if you get statement pieces, this denim white dress and it is um i like the way it goes in at the waist it's short it's cute this is not going anywhere period it's not going anywhere i'm gonna bring it out until i can't wear it anymore it's not here for a visit it's here to stay so that is my H&M dress. And then, you know I find wonderful pieces from Shein. I keep telling everybody that you gotta look at the fabric. Look at how it looks. Look at this beautiful mint dress. And I'm gonna show a picture because I haven't styled this yet. This is new in, so I haven't styled it. So you will not see me style it, but you will see it in a video. It's got the ruffles in the front with the collar that's not too over, you know, exaggerated, but it still has that ruffle look. This is a part of a trendy item, but one that I will take far beyond whether it's trendy or not, because it's just so pretty. It's got the ruching at the bottom, which means it can hide your belly. You know, I love anything that can hide my little pooch ruffled all the way down in the back and then it has that ruffle on the back making you look like you got something back there when you don't this dress is so nice so i can't wait to style this for you last two items guys the first pair is these platform shoes that I got off Vestiaire. You know, I get a lot of my um, secondhand items, luxury items from Vestiaire. Look at these beautiful platforms by Dior. The burgundy is just so pretty. And this I can take into summer, spring, winter, fall. It is just so beautiful. Still looks good. Heels still good. So very nice. And I like the glittery, glitterness, glitterness? I don't know, is it a word? 
I like the glitter aspect of it. So in the summer when you wear it and then that glitter is shining in the sun. So pretty. So those are my Dior platforms. And you've probably seen me wear it in a video by now. The last item and this is new. So these are some Steve Madden shoes that I ordered that took because when I ordered it, it when I ordered it, it was pre-order. And because it's brand new shoes that they have came out with. So when I got it, it when I ordered it, I think it maybe was the start of spring. I don't have too many black shoes except my black pumps cut so I wanted something black so I got these and they are pointed pointy toed and they have that uh, Valentino rockstar look to them and these are so so nice. That, yes, you can still wear spring and summer because don't forget guys, when you really wear something, even though it's hot outside, if you going out, like out, out, um, you, wherever you go at, it's going to be cool. It's not going to be hot. So if you're going to a beach, you wouldn't wear this. If you're going, um, on something that is really going to be mostly outdoors, you wouldn't wear this. But if you're going somewhere where you know you're going to be inside, then this is perfect to wear all year round. So, and of course, I put the name of the shoe in case you want to get it. So that is what I have new and up uh, and that is what I have new in right now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that we do everything we can to work on our inside because that is what's gonna shine on the outside. All of these things are just, um, just art pieces. It's a extension of who you are, but your true self will always come through if you do not work on the inside. Bye, guys.